This is the Google Nest Hub, and it's not particularly good at anything. It's a smart speaker, so it can answer some questions, tell some bad jokes, and maybe set some alarms and timers. Typical smart speaker stuff. But then why does it need a touchscreen? Those are all things that you can do with your voice. Apparently, from this touchscreen, you can control your smart home devices, but you can also do that with your voice. So I don't find myself using the touchscreen even for that. So it got me thinking, since I have this thing sitting on my work desk, that it would be interesting if I could interact with my work or with my PC in general, just from that screen. I don't know, maybe like a stream deck? I could just throw a bunch of money at Elgato, but I'm kind of cheap and I already have a touch screen I'm not using for anything. I'm pretty sure Google must have thought of a way of making this screen a little bit more useful for those of us that don't have it on a nightstand, right? Well, turns out they didn't. So I did. Hacker man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. Follow me. Turn this on. I want to set the throttle to 100% and I want to launch my rocket. Hold on, before that. What is a Stream Deck? A Stream Deck is a screen. It's just a screen, not even a very good or expensive one. The main part of every Stream Deck is the software. That's great. All I need to do is write software. Fortunately, my screen is Chromecast enabled. So the first thing I'll do is write a Chromecast application that has buttons in it. Every time I click any of those buttons, it will send to my computer which button I pressed. And then on my computer, I will have a secondary application which receives that information and translates it into computer actions. You are a clever boy. Now for the Windows part, I'll just write the client in C-sharp, but the Chromecast app and the web part that actually allows you to configure which buttons do what, uh, I'm going to use a platform called OutSystems. It's not the cheapest option, but it's amazingly fast. And there's a trial version, and I like my weekend projects to be developed very fast. So let me show you how all this works. The first thing we're going to do is go into this link that I'm going to put in the description and just hit download. It's going to download this zip file. You just go and extract it anywhere you want then run the executable file. It will say this on, on Windows, but I've included the source code in the description just in case you want to check that there's no funky stuff going on. Now it's going to ask you for your Google login. I'm going to do that. Once you're logged in, this is what you'll see. This is the setup page. This is where you can create uh, all of your buttons, do whatever you want. By default, there's going to be two decks created, one for Chrome, one for Windows. You can edit those and mess around with them as much as you want, and also use them to get some examples on how this should work. For example, this Chrome one, it has this setting where it's specifying a process name. This means that if we enable this option right here, which is ba which basically makes the the buttons change according to your active window so that means that whenever you change into a process called chrome this this is the deck that will show now creating your own is also pretty simple you just hit new deck create a, a deck with whatever name you want so now there's a new deck and it's empty just hit new button this pops up you can give it a label and then you can select an icon. And the most important part is you can associate actions to it, to this button. There's four types of actions. There's this one, Activate Process, which basically brings a window uh, to the front in case it's minimized or something. There's Run, which just runs a file or a, a, command, a Windows command. There's Send Keystrokes, which emulates keys 
on from from your keyboard and then there's this weight here just in case you need for it to delay a little bit between actions because you can add more than one action to each button let's say i wanted to bring chrome to the front and open a new tab on it i'd go and and uh, hit activate process write chrome here because it's the name of the process on windows and then send keystrokes add and then go i think it's control t i think there you go so it's control and then um here numbers and letters start with vk this is just to make easier to search for them vkt there you go and then save and here's my new button so once we're happy with our with our decks and our configuration have all the buttons we want there's only one thing left to do which is just press the big red button this will open a new chrome tab which will start making some detections as you can see and eventually will show a cast button you just press it it'll ask you to select the chrome cast device you want and that's it all of the buttons are now on your deck and you can use them to control your pc as long as you keep this tab running and this program running now that we're ready to start I'll just press this cast button, select a display, and it's gonna start loading. And by default, it's gonna show me the Windows uh, deck because that's the one I have set as my default, right? So if I want to open the task manager, there it goes. If I want to open hardware monitor, there it goes. Now I'm gonna turn on the option that automatically switches between decks according to the active window on my computer so what's going to happen is i'm going to close this and the chrome behind it's going to become the active window and you'll see that the buttons will automatically change to chrome buttons now i can press the buttons and they will act upon chrome like say the task manager of chrome here it is and then if i want to open an incognito tab there it goes now let's switch to a different process. I'm gonna to switch to a game, Kerbal Space Program. And as you can see, it replaced all of the buttons with controls for Kerbal Space Program, which I can control from here. Let's see, I want to turn this on. I want to set the throttle to 100% and I want to launch my rocket. Yes. I want to do other things goes there are some other uh, controls here if you want to navigate without switching the program you can also swipe left and right and it will swipe and it will scroll between all of your decks if you want to quickly switch to if you want to quickly switch to another deck directly you can swipe from the top down and then you can change to that specific deck if you want to control volume, we can also do that by swiping from the bottom to the top and then it will show the mixer so I can control the volume of each of, of, each of the applications. Holy shit! Alright, final thoughts on this. This is something that I developed as a weekend project. So there might be a few bugs. but it's free there's no ads there's no data collection of any sort and you can get it through the link that will be in the description of this video it's all built on free accounts of paid platforms so if many people start using this i might have to consider migrating it into other technologies for now just enjoy that your chromecast with touchscreen is finally a bit more useful.